All right, what is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at a trailer from BBC about the coronavirus in London. So this is a team that went in 10 days at the Royal London Hospital, and they spent time talking to families, doctors, and we're really going to get a sense of the situation there. This is a trailer. They're going to be uh, putting out pieces from this time period all this week on BBC, and we're just going to look at the trailer to see some of the shots and dissect the editing. Okay, let's jump in now. Okay, let's just scrub through and see what we're going to look at. Okay, so we have a nice drone shot over London. It's sunrise. Maybe it's sunset. We'll find out later. Okay, we, our door is open. And we have a two-shot interview here. Um, operating theater. People on the phone. Doctors talking to each other. Emotional reactions, most likely family members. We have a shot of a graveyard here from a drone perspective. Sunset shots, most likely somebody getting the vaccine. Nicely shot interview. And then a drone shot at dusk this week on BBC. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. So we got a nice drone shot here at sunrise and this was all shot by Dave McKelvey and I did another uh, breakdown video with him, a piece by him and Clive that I, I leave up here and that's one week in the hospital and that was much earlier in when COVID was first beginning and now this is uh, you know we are a year on and with a second wave and a a virus that is uh, mutated and spreading much faster now so you know, I, I think now looking back, I, I imagine this is probably sunrise because we're ending with dusk here. So just to have like a showing a day in this uh, in this hospital. Now, the, the thing is with these kind of shots, you know, th this is where it comes to planning. You know, we, we know we want to have these iconic uh, London skyline. I mean, these are, are very well known buildings in London, especially of this egg shaped building. And we know we want the sun over here. So he's planning out that shot, knowing where the sun is going to come from to be able to get this shot. It's all in the pre-production. Our levels are, are just above uh, crushing the blacks. And same with our highlights, not quite bringing it all the way to our, our hundreds to get blown out. But we have a full range here. And our colors obviously are going towards orange. Okay, let's go forward. Let's see what we have here. So this shot seems to be on a, uh, it's pretty steady. So it's most likely on a gimbal. The door is open and I'm trying to see if there's a button here because, you know, most hospital doors sometimes have automatic buttons that this could open at the same time. Now I want to play this, this shot through. I'll, I'll actually go to full screen here because I want to listen to also the audio here because so much of this piece, the audio is, is so you're there, it makes you feel like you're there. So I think for a lot of it, there is lapel mics being placed on, on people close to the sound. Let's watch the first one. It's scarier, it's bigger. I, I never thought it would be possible to have this many intensive care patients. How many floors are taken up by COVID patients here? Okay, so even just hearing this, this sound opening right here, you know you're close and it, it's a harrowing sound in here in this mortuary. I've taken up by COVID patients here. Okay, let's move back. Okay, so now we have this two shot. I would imagine we have a mic on Clive and a, and a mic on the doctor here. And there you go, there's a lapel mic. So we have a lapel mic, so we're getting clean audio on both. And they're talking about how many COVID patients are. There's basically, there's COVID patients on every single floor. The, the, the hospital is fully packed on the third floor, fourth floor, sixth floor, seventh floor, eighth floor, ninth floor, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, and then obviously up here, the fourteenth and the fifteenth floor. So that's twelve floors in total. So, okay, so what Dave has done here is he's overlaid shots on top of her talking. So we have this audio bed of her describing all the floors that are taken for COVID patients. And he starts painting pictures on top. On the third floor, fourth floor. I'll play that through. Six floor, nice camera floor, movement down to her hands as she's floor, counting back 10, up. 11, 12, 13, and, and now we start painting here. other operating okay. pictures on top of that. Okay, now let's stop here. Now, I didn't realize this part until I actually went to look through it 
shot by shot to find out what I want to talk about during this breakdown. Now this shot, I mean, it, now you notice it's from a first person perspective. Now, how did he get this shot? I would imagine that he had a GoPro strapped onto the doctor here. So you're getting everything that's going to happen throughout the day here. So you're having this first person look into his TV packages. Now I'm interested to see where these shots fit in um, during the actual TV pieces that are going to come out this week. So I'm really going to be looking out for those. And I mean, I'm sure even with such a tough story that's affecting everybody all over the world, these shots are going to be tastefully done. Okay. Doctor's reaction shots. Doctors are on the phone. Now this once. Now this is again where I want to bring up about the audio, because as you can see. So you're full. Is that right? So he's got COVID and he's had a. All those, all these moments, you can hear their their audio perfectly. Now, how are we getting such clean audio here? I think there's lapel mics on everyone that's on the phone. And let's try to scroll through slowly. And actually, I see it there. There's a lapel mic. He's covered them up really nice in this edit. Okay, also on this gentleman. I think it's right there. Let me bring up our... Uh, our color wheel and see if we can see it even better so I'm just going to drastically bring up the the levels and right there's a lapel shot there okay let's move forward a bit and I'm sure she has one as well I'll play this through very somber moment here he could, could die from this by the way I'm sorry to have to say that So we're now going to run into a problem because we haven't got any beds. She loved being a great. Okay, so now we've seen a couple shots of uh, very emotional nurses and doctors. Another doctor talking about how we're running out of beds. And of course, we have a lapel mic on everybody. Everybody has a lapel mic. There's audio running continuously through this shoot. Okay, let's move forward a bit. Okay, we go see a family photo. It's a family photo. And we're, we have this gentleman who's speaking about the grandmother who loved being a grandmother. She loved being a grandmother. Nobody wants to go through this. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Very sad. <sighs> and now we come to a shot of um, of a graveyard being dug. This, this really is horrible. And of course, leaving two layers of audio underneath. One from our first gentleman here. And then there's also audio coming from our, uh, our men digging the graves here. You'll hear the, the shovel hitting the dirt, and that's coming from this moment. So what would have been done is um, the audio from this man digging the dirt must have a lapel on him that's being put into a separate audio receiver, and then the drone to get the actual shot, and then those are put together afterwards, so linking the camera to the sound. This, this really is horrible. And just having that reveal there, and just to have this large reveal here to show this cemetery, I mean, a lot of people maybe know somebody who's had COVID, but not everyone knows someone who's died from COVID. So this is making it real. And it's very, I'm sure, very tough for to see this picture for people who know somebody who's uh, died from COVID. But it's mo I think it's important for, for the rest of society who hasn't had that experience to know how serious this is. Because still we have people who don't think this is as serious as it is, this virus. Okay, now we have a few shots at uh, most likely sunset. Again, we're shooting against the light. This is what we love to see cinematically. Um, and of course, you know, we have great reflections coming in through the water here. Okay, a tight shot of, uh, I think this is most li most likely a vaccine. And also judging by our, our a smile here, um, it's most likely a vaccine as right now the UK is rolling out vaccines. Okay, then we have an interview shot. I believe this is one of the doctors. So we got one light source here that's lighting up our, our man's face. And it's creating a nice little bit of contrast here. And then um, we have a second light source here which is coming onto the back of a head and just giving us a bit of separation here from the light. So we have light, dark, and light. And of course, our, we keep our background 
full of darkness and less distracting so we can focus on what this man is saying. I'll put this one in full screen again. It's been almost apocalyptic. We've had to do things that I thought were impossible. And then, of course, we end now with our shot at dusk of London again. So that leads me to believe that, um, once again, our, our opening shot is probably uh, dawn and we go to dusk. So we have a trailer that's cut showing from dawn until dusk. And this is something that these doctors and nurses are going through every day in the intensive care units. OK, so that's it for this breakdown. I hope you all are enjoying these. I learn every time I look at them. It helps me study when I'm breaking down it shot by shot. It makes me a better filmmaker for the next time we go out on a shoot. If you enjoyed these, please subscribe below and let me know if there's any uh, videos you want to see broken down in the comments below. Okay, thanks a lot. Peace.